They can spoil your time outdoors and do some serious damage to your gardens or flower beds. We're talking about spotted lanternflies. And as we learned, if you think that you're seeing more of them this summer than last, you're probably right. According to the State Department of Agriculture, there is a reason you may be seeing more spotted lanternflies than usual, all based on a pattern that researchers have noticed. The third year that lanternflies are in an area, they seem to be the thickest, and Allegheny County is in that third year. Experts are not exactly sure the reason behind this pattern, but they do know what may be leading the invasive species to certain areas. They feed on immature trees, new growth, that kind of thing, but woody vines like grapes and hops. And for example, at my house, they're on the rose bushes. Local, state, and federal governments are working on control efforts, but they also say your efforts are making a big difference in preventing these pests from spreading. Like a community scraping event held in Pittsburgh this past spring, removing the eggs before they hatched. New products being made available are also a plus. There's some sprays that are now labeled for spotted for eliminating spotted lantern flies. You still have to be cautious in terms of choosing what works best where you live. Like don't use something that will endanger your pets or your children or a water source. Another important aspect is knowing how to identify the spotted lantern fly at different stages of development, as seen here in this chart. Right now, you're probably seeing them in their teenage phase, where they're mostly red with black and white spots. But regardless, same rules still apply. Squash and report. You can look at agriculture.pa.gov slash spotted lanternfly. You can report them online, and that does help us track the level of populations. Now, not only do the spotted lanternflies weaken new growth, but they also leave behind a sticky substance that can coat leaves and block photosynthesis. The state has been working especially hard to keep them away from grape crops, which are a significant agricultural asset for Pennsylvania.